How we doing, everybody? Good? Okay, fire away. Uh, just talk about how Eddie has bounced back from obviously that game in Atlanta and just how he's kind of worked through that to be consistent, almost be automatic ever since. Well, I think that he's just kind of stayed true to the process. And I think that's what you do any for any player that uh, hits a rough patch or does something that they want to do better at. Uh, you just stay true to the process. You don't overthink things, and you just go right back to your fundamentals. And he's done that. And you know, we, we don't uh, we don't talk about the Atlanta game. I, I mean, this next game is the most important thing. His next kick. So uh, we still got a lot of work to do. He said that, and I think you referenced this recently, that he had a, a couple kicks like that in Chicago, and that you stuck with him there, and he kind of got going like he's doing now. What do you think he took from that experience into this one? I don't know what he took from it. I, I think that's, uh, you know, he's a tough-minded kid raised by great parents. Um, and he's just, he's been that way probably his whole life. Uh, but, you know, I don't, for me, and I try to relate to him, I don't overreact. I mean, you know, we're talking about, I, I know how the kicks came out. And we talked about it last time, guys. It was two kicks. We can go down the list of other kickers. You know what I mean? I just hope that he makes the next one. And going through the process of doing the things that he needs to do in order to give himself a chance. But he's a he's a tough-minded kid, and that's you know that's one of the reasons why I really like him. Chris, when you when you're scripting out uh, kickoff coverage. Do you still want to see Eddie kick it maybe to like the one or two yard line or the cusp of the end zone so that you guys can cover? Or is it at the point in the season now where it's like wet and cold and everything where you want to go into the back of the end zone? Well, I think I understand what your question is there. It's a good question. What I would say to you is this, um, you know, the, the, the kicking portion of it on a kickoff, uh, we want to be aggressive, but at the same time, uh, you know, we got to cover better. We, 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 we do know that. But, you know, this time of year when it's colder, the ball doesn't travel as far. I call this – we're in return season, you know. And uh, I, I think some people think that we're just kicking short all the time, and that's, that's not the case. Uh, it just happens to be what the, what the weather is. You know, I always – we actually had a – we always have a little celebration in the special teams room for, for return season. It's officially open, kind of like deer season, you know, you know what I mean? We, we kind of do one of those. But that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, but, you know, we have to fix those problems. Pittsburgh is an, has an outstanding returner. They're third in the National Football League and drive start. He's explosive, the Sims kid. And, and we got our hands full. And uh, we got to rectify and fix uh, what happened last week because we put our team in a bad situation there. And we, we can't do that as a special teams unit. When this return season began. It begins when the leaves be really begin to change, you know, uh, probably a little later here because the weather holds on a little bit longer as opposed to up north. But typically uh, when the leaves start to change a little bit is, is kind of when the return season begins. You said ball doesn't go as far. I mean, do you have the science on that or the math on that, that at X Well, it's, 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 it's colder. Uh, how's the wind blowing? Like, for example, in the Seattle game, um, you know, it was it was chilly. The ball doesn't compress as much, so it's not going to travel as far. But the other the other thing is this: uh, how is the wind blowing? Like you notice, our we only got one return, and it was the same way that we kicked, where they got both their returns. The wind the ball wasn't traveling as far going that way as opposed to uh, in Seattle, our tunnel or to the left of our bench, the ball was flying much better. So those those factors always play a, a role in everything, and you just have to figure that out in pregame. Does it affect, Chris, who you put on kickoff team? Well, I, no. I mean, we have, uh, we, you know, we have our guys, and I believe in our guys. I, I, I really do. And, and uh, those were the first couple hiccups uh, there that, that can't happen. And, uh, you know, so we, we're going to work on it today, and I'm anxious to work on it. And then we'll get tested by, by another great unit. So uh, you're only as good as your next kick. And, and, and cover, so I'm anxious and I'm excited to get there because I want to see if we've improved. Uh, 
Harbin, the punter, has one of the lower averages, net averages. Uh, what advantages can that give you guys in the return, or is it not necessarily always? It's not always. I wouldn't say it's always about the numbers there. I, I, I you know, I think numbers, uh, you know, stats are kind of ideas about numbers. Um, but they, they cover real well. They're only giving up about five point, I want to say six yards per return. So they're not giving up a lot. He has, I think he's, he's caused 20 fair catches. So he's eliminated the returner. I think he's done a nice job. They have two really good gunners. They're well coached. They've got linebackers that can run on the inside. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an AFC North Pittsburgh Steeler physical Coach Tomlin uh, type team when you, when you watch them. JC told us he was really only out there for Ann's team because DJ was down. Yeah. Has he forced his way into the discussion? He said he's been lobbying. <laughs> I'm glad he got it. That was a, a unique set of events that take place in about 20 seconds with uh, the officials yelling at you, there's no TV timeout, and you've you got to you know, make your adjustments quickly. The guys did a great job. I'm glad we got that one back. Chris. In, in a lot of cases, especially on special teams, uh, players kind of take on the personalities of the coordinators. Is there a guy on this staff, like, kind of, or, or sorry, on this roster that kind of embodies you as, as a as a player? I don't know. I that, I I don't want I don't want to insult the player. You know, uh, I don't know. I, I will say this about our room. Um, I really like our guys. They're fun to coach, and I, I appreciate them. And uh, you know, they'll. They'll, they'll, they, the thing I like, they challenge me to be a better coach. I hope I'm challenging them to be a better player, and we're working in unison and just trying to get better. Uh, but it's, it's, I, I enjoy them. I'm sorry I dodged your question, but that's. Yeah, so, so then I'll just follow up with this. Sam Franklin's kind of a quirky guy. What's he like in the meeting room? Uh, professional. Uh, when, we, when I pop on the tape, I can kind of hear him giving me a mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I saw that last night. He's already watched it. He's that guy. And I appreciate him for that. And uh, that's, I think that's why another reason why he's playing well, you know, because that's, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, this is your job. You know, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a hobby. You don't have class. You, just, you know, you're a professional football player. It's your job. So he, he's taking that to heart, and he's doing a good job. How do you commemorate the opening of return season? We had a little video, you know. We had a little video, and Elmer Fudd made it, and you know, it was it was good. It was good. I think the guys liked it, and I hope they did. But it, it, you know, you laugh about it, but at the same time, there's a seriousness about it that, you know, uh, chances are you're going to have more returns. You you have to be better uh, in the penalty area of not getting holds on kick returns and having a big one, and then it sets you back. You get you got to be able to cover and make the offense go a long way against our defense. And uh, that's, you know, that's, that's really at, the, at nuts and bolts of it. That's, that's what we ended up talking about. And, and hopefully, you know, we got to get better. So we'll, we'll see where we're at. Anything else? Thanks, everybody. Bye.